back now with uh, the widow of Crazy Eddie Finzek. And what can I say? He had a heart as big as that barrel he went over Niagara Falls in. And a brain the size of a newt. As you know, the Buffalo Bill cameras were there last week when Crazy Ed disappeared into the mist. To me, it was just an unbelievable hour of television. So, Crazy Eddie Finzek did not die in vain. Widow Finzek, what makes a man like Crazy Ed tick? I don't know. He'd see a flame, he'd stick his hand in it. He'd see a well, he'd jump in it. We'd go over to my sister's house, he'd crawl under it. He'd see a bicycle, he'd eat it. You figure it out. He was crazy. But not immortal. Well, that's about all the time we have for today, so until tomorrow, be good to each other. Be good to Buffalo, and be good to Mrs. F. Ciao. Get out of the way. I'm sorry, Dad. Don't call me Dad. If you're going to work around here, act like a professional. Sorry, Chief. Do you need some water in your dressing room? No. Chief. I'm busy. I just wanted to say that today on the show, you seem kind of, um... Yeah? Phony. To me. Excuse me? It didn't seem like you really cared that much about that crazy guy. To me. Oh, I see. Oh, is, is this by way of uh, criticism? No, but you are a blood relative, and I'm in a good position to tell you these things. I was just helping. Yeah. Melanie, you're also new around here, so, so let me explain how the corporate structure breaks down, okay? See, it's, it's my job to uh, interview people from all walks of life, garner awards, boost the ratings, and in general, just be the most visible citizen in Buffalo. On the other hand, it's your job to keep the water cooler filled. <laughs> she did, Catherine, really, when? Hang up, Carl. <laughs> My daughter said, Daddy, at the grocery store. Talk about Melanie. Uh, she, Catherine put her on. Josie? She hung up. Josie was talking about me. Who's Josie? Jo My youngest child. You have kids? No, oh, I have six. Six kids. These are your kids? Sure, Carl Jr. is in, in college. And Mary Beth is in junior high, high school. But this little Josie, she brought us such joy you know every night i, I tiptoe into her room i oh i don't have to tell you uh, you're a new father yourself what do you mean we have discovered melon oh dry up carl bill i admire you you know i really admire you i mean here you were single no ties totally how would you say it? Focused on yourself, and out of the blue, this young woman appears. You, you take her in. You you care for her needs. I mean, I think it's re I think heroic is the word. I underneath everything, you're a man of substance, Bill. This is true, Carl. Mm. She, she is my daughter. Don't minimize it. Don't. No. What can I do for you? Or for you and your little melon. Anything, anything at all. Nothing, I guess. What do you mean you must have come in here for something? No, no, no. I just, hearing that little Josie said green, that's, that's enough for me. Door is always open, Bill. Hey, Melanie. Hey, Nudel. Later, Melanie. Later, Nudel. So how's it going, Bill? What do you want? It's the end of the day. Let's take a breather. Kick our shoes off. Relax. Let's not. Why not? Melanie, don't you think you're carrying this father-daughter thing a little bit too far? Uh-uh. Nope. You live with me, you work with me, you know everything I'm doing. You're smothering me. I can't breathe. I look at an arm across my windpipe. Strangling. Not, not that I'm not glad that you're around. <laughs> No sweat. You're not the only person in my life, you know. I'm making friends. Quite a few friends. People really go for me in Buffalo. Uh, plans for the weekend. Plans for the week. 
Heck, right this minute, I'm squeezing you in. Where are you going? On a date. Who with? Melanie. I tell you. Melanie, look, you're a grown woman divorced from a butcher. Your life is yours, and conversely, my life should be mine. It's Jojo, right? I know it. Do you love her, Dad? I don't want to discuss her with you. Mom says you're incapable of loving anyone. Well, who I love and don't love is no concern of your mother's or you. Good night. Good night, Dad. Dad! Do you and Jojo ever talk about me? Yeah. Yeah, we do. You know, it's, it's funny. Before you came, we used to just sit around in silence. But now, we open a bottle of wine, light some candles, put some music on, and just sit around talking about you. <laughs> since she got here. She's sucking my blood like a tick. Bill, did you know that your salad oil actually expired in 1979? squid. Honey, wait, come on. Talk about Melanie, okay? Well, don't talk about her. She's not here tonight. Where is she, anyway? I don't know. She'll be back. I know that for sure. But not as if I don't have enough problems in my mind already. Responsible for a television show. Porsche's a lemon. Betamax doesn't record. This thing quit on me. You don't have a broiler. What? Your broiler's gone. Now my broiler's gone? Somebody stole my broiler? That is sick. I don't think anyone would actually steal your broiler. A celebrity's broiler? You think about it. So they didn't get anything else. Like television, stereo... Cash. Well, oh, honey, listen, would you would you just uh, turn your back for a second? You think I would steal your cash? Can't even take a joke, can you, George? <laughs> That's amazing. You don't know me that well enough to know I was I was kidding about that. Come on over here. Come here. You think I would steal your cash? <laughs> I'm astounded here. You where's your sense? <laughs> it's five hundred and shogun and big four hundred and uh Winning through intimidation. See my money? Mm-hmm. Want some? I don't want it all. <laughs> <sighs> I'll give it to you. I know. I would if you did. You really need it. Do you know how beautiful you look right now? Hmm? Why don't you tell me? Ready? What do you mean, we? Who's we? How's it going, Chief? Oh, how are you, New Dell? Oh, hey, I can't complain. Well, you should be complaining. After the way you ate, can you believe this character got two feet in dance? Oh, look, we're going to dance the next week. <laughs> I love to dance. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so does Bill. Uh, Tag along. Yeah. Brandy, New Dell. Yeah, uh, Kavasi, if you got it. Jojo? No, thanks. I haven't eaten yet. Oh, yeah, look, uh, before I forget it, uh, Here's your brother. Bill's brother had a coat with Teflon for us. How sweet of him. Yeah, my brother's in the brawler coating business. Really? Yeah. His name is Abdul. <laughs> well, didn't Abdul do a nice job? Look how smooth that is. Bill, remember when the meat used to stick to the top? Those days are over now. Hey, man, no charge. <laughs> hey, Chief, you got a nice place here. Well, where are our manners? <laughs> Why don't we all sit down? You know, it has real potential. Uh, chair is comfortable. Although, uh, I myself, I ain't a big fan of furniture made out of tusks. <laughs> we used to have a set of six, oh, yeah. right? <laughs> What's wrong with that? I can't imagine. He looks upset. Oh, I don't think so. I know him, Jojo. I know when he's upset, and I know why, too. You do? Sure I do. He likes his privacy, and I'm always horning in. It's a problem we have. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> well, cheer up, Dad. This is your lucky day. See, Abdul got transferred to Cedar Rapids last week. So starting tonight, I'm moving in with Nudel. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't believe he's got his partner back. Well, you do. <laughs> I'll go get my stuff. 
disgraced. <laughs> So, oh, Nudel, I guess this means that Cedar Rapids is rapidly becoming the Teflon capital of the world. Through what? There were some people uh, that I overheard. They were talking about Iowa and its uh, deposits of Teflon. What a lady. Oh, look, here's Melanie. Uh, Melanie is here. <laughs> think he'll ever speak again you know him better than i do what do you think oh i don't think i know him better than you you've known him longer as an adult yeah but the two of you have spent more uh, concentrated time and don't forget you had him during your formative years i guess we know him about the same so what do you think i have no idea what's the record for not talking i don't know we're well, a researcher yeah, uh, I could look it up. Yeah. Hey, Nudell. Hey, babe. Later, Nudell. Later, babe. Well, um, I, I better get on up to that booth. You know, it, it's just a uh, first come, uh, first serve seating. How's it going, man? Uh, why don't you take a seat? I gotta make you up. Hey, nice day, huh? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? I'm trying to get you to talk to me. Get that lipstick off of me. Hey, there ain't nothing going on. I, I, look, I bought pajamas. I borrowed a robe from Abdul. Hey, look, I'd never get her drunk or say that I was scared and had to sleep in her bed. I wear my polo cologne by Ralph Lauren. Oh, man, look. I, I, I don't know if you've noticed it or not, but uh, but your daughter ain't exactly no, no Cheryl Teagues. What does that mean? Her teeth are straight. She's got good bones. Naturally blonde hair. Her eyes are blue or brown. There's nothing wrong with her, my friend. Well, no. When you, when you put it like that, uh, I guess she does have potential. I mean, after all, I am a makeup man. Well, Dr. Denko, that, that's all well and good, but don't you think it sounds just a little bit simple-minded? I mean, surely you wouldn't put eye-to-eye -eye therapy up there with the works of, say, old Freud or, or Jung. But then, what would you have to say about the childlike simplicity of yoga or Zen? Uh-oh. Well, I'd say, um, I'd say, let's see what the audience has to say about that whole thing, okay? What do you think? Yeah, great, great. Let's have a, let's have a question from, uh, well, all right, let's take this lady over here, okay? Bill, you say this... Get up. You say this eye-to-eye -eye therapy can show you the truth? Supposedly, yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, can it tell you if your husband is fooling around? <laughs> Absolutely. Is your husband in the audience? If the bum were here, I wouldn't be asking the question. There's a good point, huh? Hang in there, honey. That's great. Let's have another question. Yeah. I'll just take a gentleman here. All right, good. Can you use the uh, eyeball-to-eyeball eyeball therapy on a pet? What kind of pet? Well, Bill, um, I'm almost certain that when I go to work in the morning, my dog Thunderbolt, he sneaks into the living room and, uh, sits on my chair and smokes my pipe. Is, uh, is Thunderbolt here? Oh, yeah, she's on the pickup. She? Yes, she is. I tell you, why, why don't you go out to your, your pickup, pick up a Thunderbolt, bring her in here, and we'll get to the bottom of this whole thing, okay? research I've spent in psycho-ophthalmology. Psycho-ophthalmology. Um, Doc, I'll tell you what, while the man is going out for his uh, smoking dog, why don't, uh, why don't we just level with each other for a second here, okay? This eye-to-eye -eye therapy, isn't that just a souped-up parlor game designed to make you a couple of extra bucks? Just give me a legitimate problem, and I will show you how effective my eye-to-eye -eye therapy really is. All right, let's do that then. Let's have a legitimate question, okay? No pets. No missing husbands, all right? I have a problem. It's with my dad. 
Oh, well, that's wonderful, dear. Is your father in the audience? Well, well wait, 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 wait a minute, Doctor. Uh, this girl happens to, to work at the station. I think solving her problem would probably be illegal, so let's move on here. Oh, well, no, wait a minute, Bill. That's silly. Yeah, that's silly, Dad. Yeah. Your father is Bill. Yes, ma'am, he is. Well, isn't that just perfect? Come on up here, Bill. I don't think he can square him out of this one. Oh, serious? He's the king of squirm. Oh, yeah? Well, ten bucks says she nails him. Well, you own it, Tony. Sweetheart, come on. Ten bucks, Tony. Pay up. This is my what? daughter, Melanie. He did not squirm out. The guy is dead. He's not. He's setting her up. <laughs> well, he looks like he's dying to me. What do you think, uh? Pay her, Tony. You're gonna lose. <laughs> my participation in this will help just even one father-daughter relationship. Then I'm I'm more than happy to to take part here. Okay, Bill. Let us sit here. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the two of you just relax. Take a deep breath. Let go of any okay. extraneous nonsense. All right. Now, before we start, though, could I just say one, one little word to my daughter? Let me have your little hand. Now then, sweetheart, uh, just don't be afraid to say whatever comes to your mind, all right? These are our friends. We have nothing to hide from Erie County, right? <laughs> I think we're ready. Okay. Now, the two of you just relax. Look deep into each other's eyes, past the anger, past the hurt and try to see what's really there. Bill, what do you see? I see two very bloodshot eyes. <laughs> Honey, you're getting enough sleep. Uh, huh? Concentrate. <laughs> you're just wasting right, time right, if I'm you sorry. don't concentrate. Okay. All, right, all right, full ahead on the concentration here, all right. Okay, Melanie, what do you see? <clears throat> My dad looks embarrassed. <laughs> That's fair enough, I would say. Concentrate, Bill. <laughs> all right, anyway. Bill, what do you see? I see a young girl. How young? Very young. Specifically? I, I have this picture of me carrying her on my shoulders at the lake when she was six years old. I was eight. I have that picture, too. You do? That was fun. That was fun. We used to have so much fun. We would go to all the rivers and lakes and I'll beaches look at Melanie. across this Bill, one. Bill, look at Melanie. Okay. You, me, and Mom at the beach. And you were so mad because she gained all that weight. Well, I, I wasn't mad, honey. I'm just concerned about her health. Why did you leave her, Dad? Honey... I didn't leave her just because she turned into a blimp. I was never a blimp. Why did you leave me? I don't know what happened. You were in Fresno and I was doing the weather at that little station in Tacoma. I just lost touch, that's all. One minute you were selling lemonade. Next minute you were trying to enlist in the wax. But I, I guess in my own way, I, I missed you. Are you glad I came? Glad is, is such a nebulous term. So is love. It's nice to hear it once in a while. You tell me something I don't know. I love you, Daddy. I love you. Eye to Eye Therapy. Twelve ninety five at your local bookstore. Available in paperback.
good to each other, be good to Buffalo, and uh, be good to your kids. Ciao. Hey, Melanie, no, just don't drive this love thing into the ground, okay? <laughs> Coming up on the Friday Night Movie, it's so hard to find good help these days. That's just one side of the comical story in Experience Preferred But Not Essential, next on A&E. Arts and Entertainment Cable Network.